Hello friends, welcome to today's tutorial. Today we are going to learn about the types of triangles. In our previous tutorial, we have learned the definition of triangle and the important properties of triangle. So, triangles are classified depending on the lengths of the sides and the nature of the angles. On the basis of the lengths of sides, there are three types of triangle. You can see I have drawn the three types of triangle. The first triangle is equilateral triangle, isosceles triangle, and escaline triangle. So what is equilateral triangle? The triangle whose all three sides are equal in length, that is an equilateral triangle. You can see the three sides are in 5 cm in length. It may be 6 cm, it may be 7 cm or 7.5 cm, but all the three sides should be equal in length. In isosceles triangle, any two sides are equal in length. This side and this side are in 6 cm in length and another one is 5 cm. So two sides are in same length. So, this is an isosceles triangle. This side and this side may equal in length and this side should be different. So, that will be also an isosceles triangle. Or we can say, if this side and this side are equal in length and this is different, that will be also an isosceles triangle. If the three sides are different in length, that is a scaline triangle. You can see one side is 5.5 cm, another one is 4.5 cm, and other side is in 8 cm. So they are defined in length, so that is called a scaline triangle. Next, we will discuss the triangle on the basis of angles on the basis of angles triangle are classified into three types one is right angle triangle another one is acute angle triangle and finally obtuse angle triangle so what is right angle triangle in a triangle if one angle is 90 degree angle that is called a right angle triangle so a right angle triangle has one 90 degree angle but you have to keep in mind other two angles will be acute angle so you know that what is acute angle acute angle is less than 90 degree angle as it is 45 degree and 40 this one is 45 degree so they are acute angle and the summation of interior angles of any triangle that will be 180 degree if you add 90 degree 45 degree and 45 degree that will be 180 degree in our previous tutorial we have discussed an important properties of a triangle and that is the sum of interior angles is 180 degree acute angle triangle if all three angles are less than 90 degree that is called an acute angle triangle in this triangle one angle is 70 degree and other two angles are 55 degree and 55 degree so as they are less than 90 degree this angle is called an acute angle triangle if we add 70 degree 55 degree and 55 degree the summation will be 180 degree it may 60 degree this one may 40 degree so that will be 80 degree because 60 degree plus 40 degree that is 100 degree so this one will be 80 degree because we have discussed the summation of interior angles of any triangle must be 180 degree Finally, we will discuss about obtuse angle triangle. In obtuse angle triangle, 
one angle will be greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree. This is an obtuse angle triangle because one of its angle is 105 degree. In obtuse angle triangle, other two angles will be acute angle. You can see here, one angle is 42 degree, other angle is 33 degree. They are acute angle because they are less than 90 degree. And the summation of three angles will be 180 degree. So, in this tutorial, I have discussed the classification of triangles. See you in the next tutorial.